So I've been looking for a new audio recorder. Something that's small and compact. Something that's durable. It's something that's kind of a two-in-one that I can bring anywhere. This is the Zoom F1 field recorder and this is the unboxing and audio test. Hey, thanks for coming by. I'm Ken the Mono Reporter. Let's open this bad boy up to see what we got. Now before we start, they sell a bunch of these. I got the one with the shotgun mic pack, so let's do it now. So right there on the box, you can see we have the field recorder, the shotgun, the suspension, the wind coat, and the cable. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, so there it is. They set it up this way where you get your field recorder, your shotgun mic, your suspension, your wind muff, and it looks like there's a cable down there. And I actually opened this before because I wanted to make sure there was batteries and they do include two AAA batteries, which this piece of equipment takes. So let's take out the field recorder, take out the shotgun, the suspension, the cable, the wind muff. And if we flip this sucker around, you have some instructions here. Taking a look at the buttons itself, you can see that we have the record format, the low cut, the limiter, the record level, the record button, of course, and we have some options and play pause. Taking a look on the side, we have our volume rockers, our DC input. This little door here is where the batteries go. This takes two AAA batteries. I can tell already that little door is gonna be an issue trying to close I think I got it. On the back, you have a small mount here you can see. And on the other side, we have our micro SD card input. On the bottom, you can see we have our headphone input, our line in input. And on the top, this is really where the magic happens. You can see we have a cover for our mods. And what's nice about this is that you can change this out for not only a shotgun mod, but for other mods as well that Zoom offers. Now, like I said before, I got the one with the shotgun mic. This is the SGH6. And let's take a closer look at this. Take a closer look at the SGH6. You can see it's an all metal build. Really, really nice. You can feel that it's metal. You have your game control right here. On the bottom, there is a cover for you to pop off and then insert onto the field recorder. And then these two buttons here help you detach this from the field recorder. Now that I have your attention here, let's just plug these both in to see how it looks. See how easy rather it is to plug in. And just like that with a snap, it is good to go. So what's really nice is that Zoom includes a shock mount for your field recorder and you can feel here it's rubber and it looks like it's pretty durable. You can see that rubber on the bottom that I was talking about to try to hold the field recorder in place and you can see how flexible it is just by pinching it a little bit. This will help with handling vibrations and vibrations in general. Let's snap this onto the field recorder to see how it looks. So these bars help with getting this shock mount on. Boom. And see if we can get this last one on there. A little tougher than it looks. There you go. So now moving on to the foam windscreen comes in the box, which is really nice. This is slide right on top. So this comes with a TRS cable to TRS. This should work with any DSLR, but if you want it to work with your cell phone, you're going to need a TRS to TRRS. So this is the setup once you're done. You have your field recorder, your wind muff, and also your suspension mount. All I have to do is pop a micro SD card in to see how it sounds. So all the audio you're hearing as I did this is a Rode SmartLav going into my iPhone. I'm now going to switch to the Zoom F1 to see how this sounds. Now this is what I sound with the Zoom F1 recorder. I have it very close to my mouth and it's sitting right here on the desk. I did not do anything to the audio and post-processing. I just have it right in front of me, kind of like I would if I was doing a podcast. I'm gonna pick it up now and put it in like the shotgun position so you can see how that sounds. Now I have the Zoom F1 right at a frame, pointed right at my mouth. You can see it here. This is what I'm usually gonna use this for as a shotgun. I didn't want to have a microphone and then a mixer and have to deal with all that. I'm just gonna use it just like this most likely. Obviously not with my arm, but with the boom pole, but this is what I sound like if you were to boom your subject with the Zoom F1. Now what I'm gonna do is take the F1 and use this cable to connect it right into my DSLR, well my mirrorless camera rather, and you can see the audio about, mm, 
four feet to three feet away from my camera and let's see how it sounds going straight into the GH4. Now this is what I sound with the Zoom F1 about four to five feet away from me. It's on my Lumix GH4 mixing right into the camera so I don't have to sync up anything in post-production. This pretty much concludes our unboxing and audio test. Tell me what you think about this thing. At around $235, a little less than $250, you get this really cool unit that you can actually plug lavaliers into if you don't want the shotgun. And I think for $199, you can get this in a lav piece instead of the $250 unit that I got that comes with a shotgun mic. I'm Ken the Mono Reporter. If you like this video, it would mean a lot to me if you leave a like. If you love this video, please subscribe. And again, thanks for stopping by.